Hey guys, welcome back to the Interceptor. We're here with a quick Stealth Spidey video. There are there's a lot more coming, trust me. But uh, today we have 8.1 Black Widow Cytalis as well as 8.2 Hulk Bahamut. Bahamut, however you pronounce it. I'm gonna turn my face cam off um, because I really want this you guys to focus on the gameplay here. Um, but we're, we'll we'll keep talking about it. So. Cytalis is a much simpler fight. You basically just have to bait SP1 and then SP2 and then SP1 and then SP2. Uh, but I think I get every phase down in, in one. I, I don't remember. Mostly because I don't remember like what percentages the phases are. Um, so yeah, there we get there we get it down in one, but I get trapped in the middle of uh, the intermission between the phases, but because she's so defensive, she won't counter me. I knew I was safe there. But uh, you'll notice that after I parry every time I dash back, that's because with wags you have enough stun duration to uh, reset your or, or to to repause rather your precision and fury every time. So that's what I choose to do. Here I use the Black Panther Striker, of course, to push to the special two. This is one of my favorite fights in the whole game. Uh, originally when it came out, I kind of hated it, uh, but now I love it. So I just had to throw an SP1 here to knock her into her fruit and reset the debuffs. Uh, here we're gonna keep hitting. Uh, we're doing 100k on every hit, so we're doing pretty well. And because I want to get this phase down quickly, I didn't pause my debuffs there. Um, and my SP3, I think I get it off before the armor break expired, so I think that's actually gonna do full damage. And yes, it actually does manage to push her to the 40%, which is what I was going for. So that's awesome. I could have also done different combos than I could have gotten there. I did definitely sub-optimal combos. Uh, but this is a really nice fight. And I think this fight ends up being around 3 minutes 40. Maybe a little faster than that. It's definitely under 4 minutes. Uh, but here I just need to get to, to a bar of power. I have a sabotage on me. Um, so I keep trying to parry, which is kind of stupid. But here I just need to push into the stun again. I don't really understand why um, the first and the third phases are like pretty much identical. Like, like they're so similar. Uh, but yeah it's kind of easy <laughs> and here uh, we do it again and then there I wanted to not get trapped although if I had gotten trapped it was in between the phases so she wouldn't have hit me even though she was unblockable so it's completely fine uh, here I'm gonna knock the stun again and yes I do have a lot of my damage being reduced here I believe it's 80% of my damage uh, being reduced at this point um, but we're just gonna bait SP2, try to do as much damage as we can, and slowly get this last 5% down. There we go, bait another SP2. This fight is almost over, I just have to push her back. Uh, yeah, there, I, I intentionally stopped hitting her because I did not want to push her to her SP2, uh, or her SP1, but unfortunately I did. And then here I just have to throw the SP2, and I, the reason I was okay throwing the SP2 there is because I was, I, I'm now at an SP1, and I can use that SP1 to knock down into the, um, into the root. But she just keeps throwing the SP1 here, wasting time, not really putting me at any risk. Uh, and, oh, I actually let the root expire. Am I just gonna kill her with basic hits doing 80% reduced damage? I am. Okay. So yeah, that is that fight, 343, that's about what I thought, and we'll go on to the Hulk fight. This one is longer, uh, but to be fair, this is inherently a longer fight. So the objective, in my opinion, best counter to Hulk is Valkyrie, and Valkyrie can do this fight in seven minutes. Stealthy can do it in eight, so he's only one minute behind, and I believe all that time loss uh, comes from um the fourth phase i think but i i love this fight as well this is a fight i really like um i used to be super confident full dexing the sp1 and i would do it in all my solos now i block the first hit um there's not really any downside because it's very rare that you actually need to parry in this fight and all it, blocking a hit does is pause the disorient you have on you so you'll notice I do Omega Red combos quite often in this fight. 
um, to help prevent or, or to, to help gain charges rather um, but this first phase is by far the easiest all you have to do is bait a special when they're at the radiation and throw it your own special attack into that and then knock the defender down so usually your special attack into their blast gets blocked and then you're unstoppable and indestructible after so that allows you to get your knockdown but for um for this one my special actually lands which is great and then here i am going to get to my sp3 to reset my charges not that they really matter that much because i really only have the fragility up but that does help my crit damage so it's actually pretty nice and then here i think i'm gonna wait yeah we're gonna do those slow combos to make sure i got the first of the three charges and in the second and third phases what you're going to do is throw a special into uh the uh, radiation blast and then after that the next time a radiation blast comes you're going to parry and reflect it back to knock uh hulk down and in the third and fourth phases there's a chance that the radio act or the the radiation blast you can't block because it's like a fire blast but it's really obvious when that happens because the fire turns red instead of green uh, but yeah basically i just have to get to three charges uh there we are at three charges so we just need to bait a special um there we go radiation just throw it in that green radiation symbol is what's going to show when it's a fire blast it's going to turn red that doesn't happen in this fight i believe it's around a 30 percent chance on each time so uh he only throws two specials during that time and neither of them happen so it's not that unlikely that my one happens but like it's not that likely it's not super likely that you get a run without a single one but here i unfortunately got an x gamma because it kept dashing back uh but that those charges don't really matter until you get three of them so here i was trying to block and uh, get the last charge but i'm just gonna bait a special and then counter for the last charge there we go. Um, and i'm throwing my special attack here i don't know why but i could have saved that but oh i want to not get to sp3 for this so i'm going to uh, parry block this reflect it and then go in for a couple combos um you can do it a whole lot of damage in this phase and he is also super aggressive which makes intercepts almost guaranteed i'm gonna throw my sp2 here I believe. no i'm gonna actually go for an sp3 uh, which is also smart because it does a lot of damage in this phase um but at the 41 percent um he actually with one percent left in his current phase he actually becomes indestructible for one combo and then if you hit him again after that that's when you push him into the next phase uh, which is kind of weird but that's the way this fight works so yeah uh now of course willpower is going to get severely reduced in this fight i'm gaining about a third of what i should be gaining but that's that's the way the fight works because he auto inflicts uh disorient on you with a special one um so here we're in the fourth phase so with this special attack i need to watch it's not a radioactive blast and it's not so uh it's not a red blast uh unfortunately he does counter me there be because i gained the indestructible i'm completely fine and again we're just trying to get him back to three charges and then we can reflect the the beam the same exact way as the first time will be fine so i think i'm gonna throw off my sp2 no i'm gonna get to sp3 i don't know why yeah i, I don't understand why I that, but that's completely fine yeah i i don't know i can't explain that one but anyways we just have the parry here get our third charge we do get it and now we just have to reflect the beam make sure it's not radiation oh this one actually was radiation okay so now i'm going to use my special three to push to a special one that probably wastes about 20 seconds uh but when he uses a radiation special uh his he doesn't actually lose his charges so all you have to do is push to another special attack 
which is very, very easy. And I guess it was nice that I had my special three available. Uh, but yeah, we are doing a ton of damage, over 100k on light attacks. Um, and then there, that's the combo you resisted. And now we're in here. So in this phase, um, you don't need to knock down with a special to get your reflect charges. I don't know what those are actually called. Uh, but when you reflect specials, you actually lower his damage reduction. So you see that 85% with a, a plus mark in a shield? That is his damage reduction. And every single time that you reflect a radi uh, a radiation blast, not a radioactive, a radiation blast, um, you actually lower that by 25%. So I believe it goes down to 60% after he throws his next special attack, the one after this. So for now, I'm doing 85% reduced damage, but just have to bait the special attack, and I'll put that down to 60. And then I think I kill before I bait another special after that, or before I get another radiation blast after that. Because 60% is often enough to deal quite a significant amount of damage. So yeah, now we're down to 60%. You can see I'm doing a lot more damage. But that's pretty much how this fight goes. You just have to chip away at this last 10%. It's kind of like the last 5% in um, in the Cytalis fight where you do more damage eventually. But... Yeah, we are at full health here, so I'm at no risk. I did a couple solos. So I the first time I attempted this, there was a couple phases. I think there was one phase that took two full cycles because I messed it up. So that solo was about 9.50, maybe 10 minutes. Um, and I redid it because also I finished with very low health. I finished with like 25% because I ate several combos in this fight. But... Um, I, I just wanted to redo it to have a clean, nice fight, and this is the first clean fight I had. It was on my third attempt. All three times I soloed the fight, but I just wanted to have a clean attempt. So here's the radiation. We're going to block the blast, and now the re uh, damage reduction is down to 35%. So we're doing 65% of the damage we would normally do, which is a lot of damage still. Stealthy is still hitting crazy hard. Uh, but not as hard as you would. And also, if you use a champion that does not do an, uh, enough damage to kill him very quickly, you can actually get that damage reduction down into the negatives. I've done that before. I don't remember who it was. I think it was like Nick Fury in the first life that I was using, but I got that damage reduction down to like negative... Wait, if it's 85, it goes to 35, and then to plus 10 so the first one would be negative 15 and then it goes to negative 40 after that so i was you're doing 140 percent of the damage that you normally would and it does actually work that way so if you're staying alive long enough you're eventually going to do a lot of damage in that fight but it's better to just end it fast so yeah that's all for that video i hope you guys enjoyed the next stealth spidey video will first off be wars because today marked the end of the sixth war and I've had, I've had the chance to use Stealth Spidey in every single war, which is incredible. And I love my officer for letting me do that. And I've actually taken multiple or multiple. No, I guess, I guess only one boss with him because the other boss I took was with Cassie. Uh, but yeah, I, he is just absolutely ruining Alliance War right now. He is one of the best tactic attackers, if not the best. And I mean that. Like, he legitimately might be the best tactic attacker. Because, <laughs> like, even... I, I know Silk, Cassie, Titania, like, all those guys are crazy. But, like, it, it's absurd what Stealthy can do in this meta. Um, he counters Unstoppable. He counters Hazard Shift. He stops all power gain from, uh, like, Enervate and stuff. It's... it. You'll see. You'll see. I've used him in... I've used him in at least two or three fights every single war, and sometimes five or six. Uh, but yeah, I've also got a, an event quest video coming. I've already finished it. I, I did one last month where I soloed all six bosses, but I didn't end up uploading it. And then I was eventually so late that the month ended, so I just deleted the videos. I did do a solo of all six bosses last month. I just forgot to upload it, basically. Uh, but yeah, that video is coming this month. So I'll see you guys later. And...